channel. This video is going to be on. request to do a video on how much it costs for the mods on my car so that's what this video is going to be about it's going to list uh, exactly which performance parts I have on this car not the ones that I've taken off and switched out but just the ones that are actually on it now and how much it costs to do it so I'm going to be listing them I'm going to be making a, a list I'm going to put it up on the screen uh, each individual part, part and also, at the, if you see to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which parts you should buy and how you'll get the most amount of power for the least amount. I went the long route and I I slowly built my car and, and did the stage two Cobb tune, which is a great, which for my car, it actually was pretty dang, it was pretty dang good. Like the, the, the OTS Cobb stage two tune worked really well with my car. I kind of built it up. I just got a few things at a time. This is good because I'm giving you some, uh, also some uh, driving footage too after my Pro Tune, so which is really nice. This, uh, I'm really enjoying this Pro Tune. It does seem like the car still is a little bit weird sometimes, even with in boost weather where it's you know it's cool out. Sometimes it's it's quick. Sometimes it throws your head back and it's still a little bit inconsistent, but turbos are like that too. It's like if you're pressing the gas, if you're if you're going into it slow, your boost won't kick in it as quick. But if you kind of pump, whenever I punch it, it usually does have a pretty good kick. So uh, it, all, it kind of depends on how you drive. It's not like a supercharger where you have all that power. So let's see if I can find the 3000 RPM. this amount or or they make 20 horsepower less he said they've switched out parts and he's not really sure I mean why it, it's just some cars are are faster than others and, and this one fortunately is one of the fast ones so I'm, I'm glad about that I'm glad I have like 20 more 20 more wheel horsepower than you know other super WRX's, so that's pretty cool. I like that. But I haven't had any issues with the car. It runs pretty strong. Uh, the E85 is currently at 50, 56.3 ethanol content. Um, it was kind of a bummer. I, I went to go do my emissions and in some E85 and I barely hit 60 as it, as it was going up. I mean it, it went down after that a, a couple of points to like 57 before I put in some pump, pump gas but then it gave me a check engine light so I'm going to get my emissions done. I have a check engine light so I'm like oh great. It was weird. It was a calm check engine light. And uh Access port, which is $600. Parent inlet, which was $285. Parent 
parent intake, which was $350. Parent charge pipe, which was $285. Parent header, which was $1,000. The R400, which was $1,000. Cobb J pipe, which was $725. The flex fuel kit, which was $600. The Grimspeed intercooler, top mount intercooler, $850. The Grimspeed boost controller, $150. IAG full TGV deletes, $300. Boomba bypass valve, $185. Parent sump restrictor, $45. And the Pro Tune on Flex Fuel was $750.